Hey everyone, BizFeed again, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the high-grade Gundam Breaker Battle Log Gundam Helios. The Gundam Helios is from the series Mobile Suit Gundam Breaker Battle Log, and is used by what I'm assuming is the main character, uh, and I completely forgot his name. <laughs> um, this uh, Gundam is based off of two main mobile suits, or two main gunpla, I should say, that being the Destiny Gundam and the Freedom Gundam, as you can tell by the head and the wings. Um, this model kit in particular, I feel, is... Uh, I have a little bit of some mixed feelings about it, uh, mostly because of some missed aspects, some visual issues, and just some other general things that I personally take issue with. That being said, this is still probably one of the best model kits I've ever built. Let's get into talking about the aesthetics. So... Aesthetically, I really like the look of this thing. Uh, as for a Gundam, this thing has a mega powerful silhouette. This thing just looks powerful. Everything about it looks nice, except for a few things. So, the blue on this thing, I am not a huge fan of. Under some more controlled lighting, at least to me, it looks alright. But under almost any other lighting, it, it I, I don't think it looks the best. Uh, either just the pigments in the plastic or just the particular shade of blue, it's not exactly my favorite. I would have rather something a little bit more darker, not super dark, but just something a little more darker than the baby blue that we've got going on here. And the other thing I want to take issue with is the uh, clear green on this thing. Now, it looks fine, but when you have it on ca against the white, it looks fine, uh, especially in there. And yes, there is a color-separated um, clear plastic in here, which is why I didn't use the head sticker. But on camera, unless on, you're under some very specific lighting, you cannot tell that that is clear plastic at all. Uh, th this is mostly due to the camera, but... Oops, I'll take issue with this later, but yeah, uh, it, on camera, it doesn't look the best. In real life, you can eh, kind of see it. Um, another thing I want to take issue with is right here, the stickers. Now, for a modern high, modern, for a modern high grade, this is pretty atrocious, but when you look at the actual, uh, gunplay itself, it's not the worst ever. So, number one and two are all for these little sections all over the wings. Uh, yeah, all over the wings. They're all over the place. And I find that some of these stick on really well. Some of them don't. Uh, they, they're just kind of annoying in general. Then we go on to number three and four. Number three right here is the eye stickers, which go in right here into the head. And number four is for the head camera, but I didn't put it in because you have a clear bit of plastic. Actually, I was going to use it on the back, because that's not color-separated. Then we come on to number five, which are for the two little, uh, oh, what do you call them? Uh, no clue. The word is completely, uh, leaving me. Same with the back skirt. Um, this unit is also imp apparently inspired off of, uh, Unicorn Gundam, because the, uh, all the clear is apparently Psycho Frame. Destiny Gundam, because of the head. Freedom Gundam uh Gundam X and F91 I don't know if I already said that but uh continuing on with the stickers you then have six and seven these are the biggest offenders and the ones that are most annoying they go over the cannons right here and from the side they look all right but from the f from the top they really could be a little bit better um yeah I not the hugest fan of that uh, 11 then, I completely forgot what it's for, it will come to me later, oh no, no, I know what it's for, where is it, where is it, uh, uh, there, there it is, uh, it's the cameras right here, and last but not least, we have number 8, which I completely forgot to talk about, uh, these are, uh, the worst color correcting, because they just wrap over, uh, they are gray parts, and they are on a raised surface, so they will be easy to paint, but it's still annoying that we got them for both sides. So yeah, the color accuracy is probably the weakest part about this thing. But that being said, it's not the it's not terrible. <laughs> um, let's move on to the accessories. So before we fully start, I just want to bring attention to an issue that I have. I haven't seen anyone else talk about it, so it might be exclusive to my kit, but I don't know. Um, these panels right here, one of them snapped on me during assembly, so do take caution when putting them in. I still don't know why it happened, and I completely lost the other part, so I can't even glue it. But, uh, let's talk about the accessories. 
So first of all is the thing's beam rifle, which is completely just taken from the Destiny Gundam. Uh, as such, because it's taken from the Destiny Gundam, no color separated scope or parts on the side. Let me see if I can grab, here's the manual. As you can see, it's supposed to have white on the sight and some little green parts right here uh, that is not uh, take accounted for on the model. And in order to hold it in the hand, I will actually remove the backpack just to make my life a little bit easier. All right, so the way the uh, mobile suit holds it is by taking off the hand, if I can do that. It's in uh, the same uh, polycap that is in the standard Destiny Gundam, so they are a little bit tighter to remove. Then as for the beam rifle, you can open, take off the back of the hand, sandwich it on just like so. You don't get any separate trigger finger hands. Uh, these are the only holding hands that are included with the kit, so do be wary of that. And it pops into the hand just like so. This thing almost suffers the same thing that a lot of seed high grades suffer, at least a lot of the older ones, in that it can't really hold its beam rifle all that well. That being said, it is in there pretty securely, um, and it won't move around too much, and it won't move around unless you aggravate it, I guess. Then uh, let's talk about its little uh, beam shield. This thing is one of the smallest things I've ever seen, but it looks very nice uh, for a beam shield. It's got a lot of detail that catches the light very nicely in that kind of moving back and forth light right there. And in order to attach it, you tear off any one of these little, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, and you just pop in the shield, make sure I'm doing it the right way. Yep, there we go, like so. This thing is very tiny and I love it. I think it looks amazing. As for some alternate hands that you get then, you get two open palms, and this is where I start to take issue with the accessories. Uh, these were ripped straight from the Destiny Gundam. I'll get to the parts that are still included later. But uh, you do not get any Palma Fiocina effect part. I believe that's what it's called. Which is weird, because even in the manual, uh, the art on this thing, it shows it using it. So I have no clue why. There was a huge missed opportunity uh, probably could have included maybe a really crazy looking effect part to go in there. It would have looked really nice. I have no clue why they didn't, and I'm a little upset that they, that they didn't. Before I move on, I want to quickly, whoops, all right, whatever, uh, tell you that on the butt flap, you are able to plug in the beam rifle, and it holds in pretty securely. Just don't try to knock it out. I don't know why you would try to. All right, uh, now let's talk about the backpack right here. So, the backpack is kind of a mess to have to handle. Um, it's mostly because of the freedom wings. They don't like to s always stay put. Uh, and they drag down the torso a lot because it's held on by two polycaps. So, do be careful of that. Um, we will talk about everything that the backpack can do later. But for now, uh, the, on the cannons on the back here pull out the beam sabers, the very unique looking handle for it, and you get some equally uh, unique looking beam effect parts, if it'll focus. Yep, there we go. It has the same uh, effect given to it as the shield, probably not intentional, but it looks really nice, and it's the same way you would uh, put in uh, the beam rifle. Uh, however, these are specifically made for the giant uh, Destiny hands that this thing borrows, so they hold in very nicely. Uh, you may want to be careful of the fact that it doesn't really hold it from the bottom too well. It'll just fall back, uh, but it's not the terrible. It's not the worst thing ever. Pop them in, and there you go. You get two of them, uh, and yeah, they look really nice once in there. These are probably my favorite weapon to use with this thing, just personally. Um, and yeah, that is all the accessories that you get. I'm not, uh, offended by it. Um, uh, I, I'm fine with the amount that it gets. I've seen a lot of people criticize this kit because it doesn't come with a lot, but the main event is what's going on down here, not really with the accessories. So one last thing I want to talk about before we move on is all the leftover parts. Let me just move all of these. There we go. You get several leftover parts. You get some pretty interesting ones, like a bit of the Freedom Shield, some chest parts, uh, some half of legs still left over. You get a lot of different parts that I don't want to entirely cover. 
Um, and this is from the Freedom, by the way. Uh, you get beam saber handles, arm parts, shoulders. You get a lot of crazy stuff. So if you're looking to have any extra parts around, there you go. And as for the leftover Destiny stuff, it's not as interesting, but it's still kind of cool. Uh, you get a lot of leftover... Uh, joint parts which uh i guess uh if you were looking to do some kind of custom some kind of kit bash this would be pretty cool uh also just extra parts in general for your your destiny gundam if you have one so yeah now that that's out of the way uh let's talk about the articulation all right so talking about the articulation one thing i want to say before going into this pretty much everything internally internally my bed is from the Destiny Gundam from 2018, 2019, I believe. So it's going to be really good. Just about everything is the same except for in the chest. So the head is on a polycap, uh, two joints, so it will move back and forward. Come off a little too easily, but it will pop in just fine. Head will look up and down. I will leave this bit off and talk about it a little later. The wings will flap back and forward and will also rotate around uh right here and the uh two cannons right here are on two different uh i don't know what you'd call those but they're on two different joints uh that allow them to swing under and over they're also on a rotation and this part in the front can extend forward and push back the wings like from the freedom gundam can all be uh pulled out and the cannons down here can move as well so that covers everything on the back now talking about the shoulders, uh, they move forward and back. Uh, the shoulder doesn't entirely move it. Uh, it yes, it moves independently, uh, but it will get in the way sometimes just because it's so bulky for shoulder armor. So do be careful of that. The arm will raise up about only about that far. Uh, the you have a full rotation here, uh, pretty tight, which is very nice. We have a double-jointed bend, which is also very nice. That gets you everything you could want. And uh, you have a second point of articulation carried over from the Destiny Gundam, which is a polycap, which also attaches to the hands, which are on ball joints. Uh, and the hands are very tight in there. Not super tight, but they are pretty tight. And uh, extending these out, let me move out. Let me take off the arm so I can show you better. You have two little fins right here, which will pull out for the little bit of a full burst mode that this thing has. And there you go. Uh, again, they don't look super effective, um, but yeah, that's about it. And uh, let's talk about the lower body now. So it's connected by the old way, which is a polycap up here and a polycap right here, which don't ever give you a whole lot. I don't know how much of a bend, I think that's about as far as a bend forward as you will get. So it's not much. And out back, I don't even think it goes out back at all, but it will, and it will come off because of the giant wings, uh, which way down on specifically this polycap so much. It's really terrible. Um, the legs uh, are on polycap, so they will move up about that far. Because of the giant butt flap, they will not move back at all. As for the splits, I'm just going to take off the rest of the body here. They will... Uh, it will pull off the splits. These are still on the absolutely crazy Destiny joint that is these extending, so they will get out of the way perfectly for any sort of movement, and it doesn't even matter because they're not as big and bulky as the regular Destiny armor. Uh, you have a full joint of rotation right here, full jo double jointed bend, which is very nice. Uh, these pull out as well as uh, for the full burst mode, I guess, you would call it. I don't really know what you'd call it. And as for the feet, they will move back that far uh, on two joints, one inside of uh, the ankle, and then one actually at the base of the foot will move forward. Not a ton. Uh, you get a toe bend down, and that's it for articulation. So pretty good, uh, all things considered. Uh, I really like all the bends and stuff on this thing, and I really feel like uh, the articulation is probably the best aspect of the whole kit. It really is just a shame about that polycap, though. So let's talk about my final thoughts on the kit. So, final thoughts on the high-grade Gundam Breaker Battlelog Gundam Helios. I quite like it, and I think it's a really good kit. 
Um, I did take a lot of gripe with it uh, in this review, and I did make it seem a little negative at times, uh, some of the aspects about it. And while, yeah, I will still side with them, uh, especially with the color accuracy and some stability issues, I still think it's a, a great kit and definitely recommend it for anyone uh, either looking to get one or just want to try Gunpla in general. Uh, highly recommend this kit. Um, that being said, do take note of all the issues, and if they're not for you, uh, definitely, uh, I, I would still get it. I, I still think it's a really great kit. Um, my name is Biscuit, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm usually pretty active on there. Make sure to subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.